Get ready to pause this video and take a snapshot because this is what price is going to do until March 1st. The only real question that we have in short-term time frame analysis, how low does Bitcoin go before it finds a bottom and a bounce? And at what point will Bitcoin come, price come up to retest the weekly 10, which is represented by this red line? I'm not going to go into what will happen at the tipping point in early March, but rather this video will show you signs of when you'll find a low and what you'll see as Bitcoin charges up and tries to give this weekly 10 one more test. Are you ready? Hit the like button. And subscribe. Or else, I kill you. let's go! If you haven't taken a snapshot, last chance. In general terms, there is not a low formed in price until you go to the four hour chart, you use the RSI with bullish and bearish control zones, and you have the EMA on. And I'll link you to a video at the end of this video showing you how to set up a chart just like mine in 28 minutes. You typically don't find a low until this green, which is the RSI itself, both gets above the white line and uses it as support. Oddly, just like back here, the green got above the white and use it as support. That's oftentimes, not always, when the lowest local low of this one move is found. This low right here, oftentimes in RSI, does not represent the lowest low in local price. Rather, it comes afterward as the four hour RSI is uptrending, but price is still downtrending. You sometimes get V shaped recoveries. Yeah, only in bullish trends. This is not a bullish trend. This is a bearish trend. It's statistically very unlikely at this, what Bitcoin has just fallen down to 39,500. It's, it's statistically very improbable that Bitcoin is going to just bounce from that point. L rather, what's more likely is that it'll wick back below just a little bit or significantly before it's found a local low. Let's go back and mark this off right here. RSI on the four hour went above the white line, found a support at, at the white line, made a, hot, a, a low that's higher than that one back there and watch what price did. Look, that's exactly where it found its low. The lowest point in the RSI, if you can see back here, was up in this area. But price was not ready to form a low yet because the RSI was still making lower lows. As RSI is making lower lows on the four hour, typically price is not done finding its lower lows, although the RSI itself can start making higher lows. Bitcoin price or cryptocurrencies often, especially if it's not in a bull, a raging bull market, in raging bull markets, yeah, you can just go straight up. Sure you can. Not in these markets, you typically don't. You typically have to use it as support at least once. And oftentimes that first or the second check of the white line is where you find a low in price. Do you see that? And that's just the first example. If you go back in time during all downtrends and you calculate the number of instances and how many times that hits, it's way over 50% because currently the RSI hasn't even formed one higher low yet, let alone get above there. Therefore, you shouldn't be looking for a bounce quite yet. Step two is in the event that price does not use this master or line, which is the gray line as support in the event it goes below it, which I think it will, then it will likely have to find support within this trading channel just below the master origin line, and it will have to get back above this. So let's say it comes down to this point here, just a little bit below the origin line. And that is potentially when the four hour RSI will have started an uptrend, but Bitcoin price is not ready to start trying to form an uptrend. But step two is you have to come above the gray line, which is the master origin line, and you have to use it as support. That's step two. However, is it possible that the four hour RSI does start getting an uptrend and Bitcoin only comes down to 39, you know, 39 one, and it uses the origin line of support on its first try? That's possible as well. Therefore, step one and two might be mixed at the same time especially if Bitcoin does not go below the gray line. If it pings right off of it, it automatically finds that low. The four hour in theory, the four hour RSI down here could be forming an uptrend and that could uh, satisfy steps one and two at the same time without going below the gray line. That would be support, okay? But in the event it goes below, what you need price to do is you need it to not just get back above. That doesn't count. You have to use it as support and then have another try to the upside, okay? That is step two, use it as support. Before price can even think about getting up to the weekly 10 EMA, which is right there, even though I'm on the four hour chart, that's the weekly 10. Before it can even think about trying to retest there, that you, it needs to get back over this horizontal structure right here. And what's probably gonna happen 
is Bitcoin is not going to do an aggressive move up to 42 until the 10 EMA is in that box. You can bet your bottom dollar in the near future. When Bitcoin tests the weekly 10 EMA, the weekly 10 is going to be around the 42 level or lower. It's not just going to race right back up to it. Turn on your camera and microphone and ask me questions up to eight times a week straight to my face. Links to the Discord community within the description section of all my videos. Follow me on Twitter, Coastal Better This too. I leave a bunch of cryptocurrency and Bitcoin updates. If online communities are not your thing, but you want exclusive content above and beyond what I offer on YouTube, click the join button right below this video and another video will pop up describing your options to you. Therefore, step three might be mixed with the final event of Bitcoin trying to test this red line again, which is the weekly 10 EMA. However, the weekly 10 needs to get in the zone and by then price might have come up to it. That would be step four. It needs to put in some time sideways, which is just another nice way of saying stop being patient and stop expecting a freaking V-shaped move. It's not going to happen. Bitcoin's not going to come straight back up and test the weekly 10 that fast. That is not how it works. It's not how it works. Weekly 10 is going to be down here first. It's going to be in this block because Bitcoin price, you know, is not going to want like just naturally is if it were a person and had feelings, whatever. It's not going to want to have an obstacle, then another obstacle. It's going to wait. It's going to go sideways. Price is going to go sideways until both obstacles are at one place. And then it'll try to get above it. That's just how it's going to work. I don't know why I know these things. I just, I've, I've studied Bitcoin price enough. I know how it moves. It's not going to come up and have an obstacle, then another obstacle. It's going to wait till the obstacles are together so you can kill two birds with one stone. Now, am I going to guess that Bitcoin gets over the weekly 10 EMA when it gets in that 42K zone? I, honestly, I don't think it will. I think it has a chance. And my video tomorrow on Saturday is going to cover that. But these are the steps specifically that you're looking out for. In summary, the four hour RSI needs to start a small uptrend and as it begins the formation of a small uptrend you can expect price to peak down a little lower from its current local low of 39 and change therefore i have a target of somewhere in the low 39 k's so 39 one 39 000, even down to 38 and change that's likely going to be the low number two origin line price needs to get back above it and use it as support step three price needs to move sideways and not aggressively until the weekly 10 gets around 42k level along with that horizontal and that's what you're looking for that's exactly how bitcoin is likely going to move over the next few days i would say seven to ten days at what happens after that though is going to be really interesting if bitcoin gets another freaking rejection of the weekly 10 which is my guess and starts getting squeezed below that origin line it's going to be bad make sure you watch my video for tomorrow on that Click this video right here if you want to learn how to set up a chart just like mine with a 28 minute trading view tutorial built just for you. Click this video right here if you want further evidence that you might not want to be bullish for 2022. Click the circle in the middle if you're new to my channel. You just got Timofat Worldwide. Peace.